All right, Sports Collectors Daily Readers, Rich Miller here with a little video for you. I wanted to show you uh, the story that was on our uh, front page of our website about the uh, post-serial panels that Just Collect has up for auction. We're in July right now. Just uh, some pristine panels that we talked with them about. Not ultra, ultra rare stuff, but just kind of neat to see them in this form. And we made reference on the Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash sportscollectorsdaily, that uh, got something kind of similar to that in our own collection. That's why we kind of appreciate this stuff. And look at this. Here it is. This is a full box, not a full box, but an empty box that's complete of post Toasties cornflakes. There they are. Mm, good. From 1962. And there is the ad that mom saw when she went into the grocery store with the kids tagging along free baseball trading cards. Who could resist that? Take a look at the side panel here. It's a little beat up and the top is missing, but who cares because it's intact. And look at the back here. There they are. We got seven cards on this box. And it's a pretty good box because you got Nellie Fox right there, card number 47 in the set. There's uh, Jake Wood, and up there, Bobby Richardson, who was uh, having a huge uh, time of his career that back then in the early 60s. So just kind of uh, kind of neat there with that full uh, kind of look to it. You can kind of get a look at the packaging and what it was all like back then. But still, even cooler than that, I think, is this. Got this at a card show back in about 1986. An unopened box of Jello pudding and pie filling. And there you see the ad on the front. It's lemon flavor. Mm, good. And yep. Jello still in there. You can't really hear it, but it's in there. Uh, it hasn't quite turned to solid uh, yet, which is remarkable. There's the card on the back. 1962 uh, is actually the year from uh, the post or the uh, Jello pudding. Very similar, obviously, to the post cards, but even cooler than that, I think, uh, maybe from a standpoint of who's on the back of the box, is the one I bought with it, and that is Harmon Keller. We've got him in a little case here. Got a little shadow on the box there, so it's actually in better condition than it looks. Um, but What's really neat about this is that I'm not really an autograph collector, but Kellebrew made an appearance uh, at a uh, baseball game about uh, seven or eight years ago, and I couldn't resist going up to him, showing it to him, and having him sign it. And he did. He got a real big kick out of it. So it's just one of those cool pieces that combines a lot of different things. Um, you got a really sort of a rare item. It's how many, how many I'm unopened boxes of Jello do you see sitting around? Uh, but then you got Killebrew on the back and he signs it. So it's just kind of a neat thing that's uh, on top of our desk here that we keep. Not worth a fortune, but just very unique to see some of these older products. Um, still survive in this kind of condition and how people saved them over the years. Don't know how many are out there, but uh, love to see them come up for auction and uh, love to add them to the collection whenever we can.